the ET Garage. This video is going to be about this uh, Harbor Freight and with the Fomatic Spark Plug Cleaner. All right, like I was saying, uh, today's uh, video is going to be about this uh, Central Fomatic Fomatic Spark Plug Cleaner from Harbor Freight. Uh, includes one bag of abrasive material, so you don't have to spend extra money on the abrasive material unless you're doing a lot of spark plugs. I went and picked up a jar of it anyway. I can't remember the prices, but I'll list them, list them up here. The current prices, they're both pretty inexpensive, I think. Uh, do you need a spark plug cleaner? Eh, not really. Uh, uh, most spark plugs in modern cars last for pretty much the life of the car, unless you keep it long time, 100,000 miles at least. Uh, they come with the newest types of iridium spark plugs and all that. But if you have a bunch of the old spark plugs around, and uh, like I have, I have a uh, coffee can full of them. This isn't the correct way to store your spark plugs. You can chance cracking an insulator by just throwing spark plugs in there like that. That being said, the only time I ever cracked an insulator on a spark plug is when I dropped it. That's it. Uh, then I got a bunch of spark plugs here. They're really just good cleaning and regap and a uh, little lube on the threads and they're good to go and some you know some silicone on the insulators so uh i figured i'd pick this up because it might come in handy uh especially when i'm uh putting a new tune in the computer and i want to check spark plug color heat range and all that stuff um one thing i like so far i open this up comes in a box comes with the instructions uh it does come with that bag of uh Cleaner, cleaning media. Basically, what this is is a uh, air-powered sandblaster. You stick a spark plug in. It actually comes with a uh, the the fitting on the end. It's loose, but it's there for the air chuck, uh, which is nice because most of the time you have to buy this separate. So I'm going to have to put some uh, Teflon tape on this and uh, secure it. Uh, also, it comes with the clamp for the bag and the bag. And then on the front, where the spark plug goes, there's this little aluminum shield. I guess that's to protect it. You peel that off. See there? Peel that off. And uh, then the spark plug goes in there with this part of it down. And you just push it in there. So this will fit, should fit a variety of spark plugs, hopefully. Uh, let me move the camera around. We'll get a closer look over and I'll go over what I just said, basically. Okay, like I said, I have a whole bunch of these uh, old spark plugs laying around. There's nothing wrong with them. They just need a good cleaning. And uh, the Fomatic Spark Plug Cleaner, which includes one bag of abrasive material, comes in this box, comes with a bunch of instructions, probably in several different languages. I haven't read through it all yet. I just gave it a brief reading through. But um, let me see if I can open up to some page that's useful. Uh, here we go, yeah. Basically goes to instructions how to use. Uh, comes with this bag of abrasive material. They do sell the uh, separate container of spark plug cleaning media. I'm not sure what kind this is. Um, it doesn't look like aluminum and oxide. It looks like something else in there. I'm not really sure. If anyone knows, just let me know down in the comment section. And of course, here is the blaster which is a, this metal housing, it has a uh, mount, so if you want, you can uh, mount it to a tabletop. It actually comes with the air chuck fitting too, which is nice, because most of the time you have to buy these separate, like I was saying. And uh, the way I understand it is, you pour the media in this side, unscrew this clamp, put the bag over it, put the clamp on, and uh, hook an air hose to it. Make sure you use Teflon tape on this. And insert a spark plug in here with the electric side down. This is just a rubber grommet, so it will fit many different size spark plugs. Uh, and hook the air up and press that button. And I, there's, and there's this here too. I don't know if that's just a pop, pop it valve. I think so. I'll have to read the instructions a little more. But uh, let me read the instructions a little bit more and I'll get this together and then we'll uh, 
I'll see how this all works and I'll uh, go over it with you. All right, uh, after reading the instructions, it says to pour this in here, then put the bag on, then the clamp. Then it says for best for best use, mount this to a wall. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna mount this to a wall. I am gonna pour this stuff in, and make sure this plunger here is closed and sealing good. I don't really care for this plunger too much. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's gonna seal right, but that's to keep the powder, I believe, from backflowing into the air hose, as far as I can tell. Let's see if we can get this bag open. Pour the powder in. I'm just pouring the whole bag in. Put this over it. All right, let me, uh, I'm gonna mount this in the vise. Okay, here we are, mounted in the vise. First time, this is actually the second time I'm doing it. It's the first time I actually mounted it the wrong way. I mounted it with the spark plug da uh, uh, down, and when I took the spark plug out, all the powder fell out. So, uh, let's, uh, let's do this over again. And we'll start with a dirty spark plug. And here's one I partially cleaned. Here's one I cleaned the first time, but I did it wrong. So now I got it the correct way. And now I'm going to start with a completely dirty spark plug. Hopefully you guys can see that. And we'll get it in here. Shove that all the way in. It does say with it. Yeah, like that. Okay. There we go. Okay, now uh, over on the other side, there's this lever here. And they say you can move, this will change the swirling of it. So we'll see for extra cleaning. Yeah, it's just a few seconds. And see where it's cleaning it. It's like cleaned half of it. I wonder if you rotate this in there like that while I'm doing it. Yeah, that did a better job. A couple more seconds in there. Keep in there. I'm only keeping it in there just a really short amount of time. Okay, let's see. Yeah, you can see where it's... You can see where it's still kind of moves a couple of spots, but it's a lot cleaner, especially down inside the insulator. Uh, I mean, like something like that heavy stuff, I could probably just get with a wire brush. You would definitely want to blow this off with the air when you're done in some type of cleaner or brake cleaner or mineral spirits and then uh, blow all that off. Let's try it again, just one more shot. This time I'm not gonna stick it in all the way. That's pretty clean. Let me get uh, that one that I never finished cleaning. I'll finish that one. A little bit more time in there. You guys can see that. This time I'm just going to stick it in there.
Yeah, second time around, it seems like it's taking longer. Yeah, let's see. Stick it all the way in there. something here. Yeah, it definitely got a lot more. It's just like it's doing a good job like on the insulator, but not unless you spin rotate this around. So let's do that again. There we go. Rotating it definitely makes a difference. Uh, still a little bit there on a strap. I mean, and I can get with a wire brush. Definitely going to take a good air source. You can hear my air compressor running crazy in the back. Let me get another dirty spark plug. One more. See how it does. This is an AC Delco spark plug. The other ones are NGK. Yeah, this one seems like it did a better job for some reason. I don't know. It's because of the way the insulator sticks out. But, uh... Yeah, doesn't seem like it's getting the insulator as good. I don't know if it needs to be shooken around in here or what. Let's get another one. There we go, another dirty AC Delco one. And on these on these AC Delcos, it doesn't seem to be getting down any insulator as well. I mean, it's definitely better than what you can do with a wire brush. You know, let me move the camera around. I'll get my thoughts on it. My thoughts on this? I don't know. I'm kind of mixed on this. It does do a, uh, 
it does do a good job of cleaning you know like around the edges and it like this one here where the insulator sticks out more it does a good job of that what you don't really want to clean though is is like the area what you want to clean is that area right around there between the contacts really good and uh like this one here the ngk's it seemed like it did a pretty good job these ac delcas with a slightly different design it didn't or, well this is an auto light actually uh I keep saying NGK, they're auto lights. And um, the AC Delco ones, it doesn't seem like it, it got in there as good. So the design of the spark plug is going to affect it. I'm not sure this is worth the money, even though it's real cheap. You also need a really good air supply with this. Um, you definitely want to pick up the extra cleaning media and uh, make sure you get your top on good. Um, this screw for this needs to be longer, so I'll probably replace that with a longer screw. I think I already lost the nut that goes to it, That's it. and the reason I want it longer is so you can leave the nut attached to it and just take it off and on without totally unscrewing it and not lose the nut like I, looks like I already did. <laughs> I can lose anything. Um, I'm not too worried about that. I have plenty of screws, but, uh. That's my thought. I don't really think it's worth the money. Um, you need, like, yeah, it's, I can just hit this with a wire brush and clean that contact area in there with uh, a small, uh, small file or a piece of sandpaper and uh, pretty much about the same, same amount of time and less hassle. I'm going to have to say, even though this is cheap um, and the media, this little thing of media is not that expensive. It's, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, might be worth it for some type of specialty spark plug that works well with it, but I can't think of any you know, type of aircraft spark plug. Um, also, for the cost of spark plugs, it's probably, you know, depending on what plugs you use, if you're using the cheap $4 spark plugs, uh, three, four dollar spark plugs, it's cheaper just to get new spark plugs. Uh, that being said, I got all these spark plugs I can clean if I wanted to. Um, I could probably spend the next couple hours cleaning all those spark plugs if I wanted to, but, uh, not today. I gotta probably edit and upload this video and all that stuff. Okay, there it is. That's my, uh, review of this thing. Uh, personally, I don't think it's worth it, the trouble. Um, unless you, uh, I can see using one of these. If you have aircraft spark plugs where you have, say, a six-cylinder alloy coming, where you have uh, two spark plugs each, that's 12 spark plugs, and those spark plugs are really expensive. Um, I could see the using these on them. There might be better spark plug sandblasters out there. you got to make sure you have a good air supply. By air supply, you only need 90 PSI, but you need uh, a good strong volume, okay? That needs to be able to maintain that volume. So you got to make sure you have a good air supply. For just regular spark plug like on your lawnmower or your car you could probably just do like i said wire wheel and uh wire wheel and uh, a little piece of sandpaper or a small file and clean this Everything thing is you're getting grit all over the spark plug uh threads so you gotta make sure you wire wheel these anyway to get and blow them off with an air hose and clean them with some type of solvent to get all that grit out of there. You do not want that grit getting in between the threads, especially on a set of aluminum heads. So, uh, something to consider. Um, so my recommendation is don't buy it. Uh, unless, like I said, you got some type of specialty spark plug that you need to utilize this on. I can't think of anything. If you can, leave it down in the comment section. Yeah, don't, don't waste your money. It's, it's not expensive. If you got the good air supply already, yeah, and, uh, yeah, I think for, uh, I forgot what the price was, but it was less than like 20 bucks or something. You can give it a try, but, uh, I don't think I'll be using it that much. Um, I might get bored one day during the winter or when it's a rainy day and come down here and clean all these spark plugs just so I have them clean. And, uh, truth is I can just do it quicker with a piece of sandpaper, a wire brush and some cleaner. Just as, just as much as I can do it with this. And also I need to get another, 
either another bolt or find the nut for this that I lost. Oh, there it is on the floor. All right. I'm going to end the video here. Everybody have a great day and God bless.